guys it's your girl the really sorry t and i am back and y'all today's topic is they are jealous of you because you outrank them spiritually oh yes y'all this is one i had to do when you you wondering you are wondering why you catch all kinds of hell from these people on your job or even in your family. It can be in the church. It can be some of your so-called friends and definitely, definitely in your family. You know, these jokers be mad at you, furious because you outrank them spiritually. Okay. And this is, this is something you have no control over whatsoever. This is the anointing on your life that God placed over your life. Okay. When you walk into rooms, you, you naturally get attention. You ain't got to whore yourself out. You ain't got to try to do nothing extra to make yourself be seen and heard. All eyes be on you, baby. When you speak. When you speak, all ears are open because of your anointing, okay? And a lot of times these people, they may have worldly jobs and stuff. Like, for instance, they can be your supervisor or have some other type of worldly job where their earthly job outrank you. In this realm, okay, but they still be jealous of you. They your supervisor, but they jealous of you and you work under them. How is that? See, they they are jealous, y'all. I be trying to tell you these dogs be jealous of you because of the anointing on your life. And some of you guys, you hadn't figured it out yet. Even if you don't know it, I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you. This is why you are hated a lot of the places that you go because you outrank them spiritually. So you have to understand, we're walking around here, those of us that is filled with the Holy Spirit, we're walking around here with the same spirit, okay, that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, have, okay? That's the spirit that's in you. All right. And they hated him for it and they going to hate you for it as well. Not to mention the spiritual gifts that you were assigned. OK. And each of us, we had no control and no say so over the gifts that the Holy Spirit gave us. All right. And a lot of times people are jealous of your spiritual gifts. So let's talk about the anointing. What is the anointing? The anointing is the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit in the life of the believer. It enables the believer to understand, apply, and administer spiritual truth. Simply put, the presence of the anointing enables believers to have a spiritual connection to God. And it is the anointing that breaks every yoke and every shackle. Okay. I'm just trying to tell you. And this is another reason why these dogs are jealous of you and even fear you. It's because of your power, the power that you possess because of the anointing on your life. Now, here's where we're going to talk about the anointing and what it does, because the anointing is really the very spirit of the Lord that it lies within us. OK, and this is found in Luke 4 and 18. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he have anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. 
So you guys, I hope this clears some things up for you guys. I hope this answers some of the questions on why, you know, so many people are jealous and envious of you. You know, this is something uh, you have absolutely no control over. Okay. Because it's the, it's the very spirit of the Lord that, and, and the anointing on your life that they're really jealous and envious of, you know, because like I told y'all before, all these jokers are not human. Okay. They are not. In fact, some of these people have a different spirit. Okay. That is not of God. And oftentimes they are plagued with demonic spirits as well. Okay. So like I said, I just hope that this helps you guys. And I pray that you guys walk in the boldness that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ have given to us through his Holy Spirit and that you all continue to do the work and the will of our Father in heaven. See you next time. Bye.